how I do my hair. Um, a lot of my friends always ask me how I have so much volume in my hair. So I'll give you guys some tips at the end of the video when I finish curling my hair. So you guys can go there if you want to, but you should just stay for the whole video. If you guys are interested in learning how to achieve this hair, then keep on watching and thank you so much for watching my videos. Yay! Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by just combing my hair and you're just going to comb through your hair to make sure there's no knots throughout it. I'm going to do this in sections. I like to do three sections. Three sections, not six. So I'm going to be taking um, at the end of my eyebrows and then go all the way back. So that's my first section. And I'm just going to pull this up. The curling iron I'll be using today is the Conair Infinity Pro and I have it set at 330 degrees. I'm going to be taking my first section over here. It's going to be about a one inch section. What I do is I'm going to open the clamp and you want to make sure you're curling away from your face. So this way and then this way. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> I'm going to be clamping it down in the middle right here and then I'm going to roll it up all the way to the root, but don't burn yourself. Don't do that, it hurts. I'm gonna hold it for about like five seconds, not that long, and then I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom of the strand, and then roll it up again. And then you're just gonna let this set for about 10 seconds or so, not too long, because you don't want your hair to, you don't want your hair to like burn off. So once you finish, you're just going to release it. So you can see right here. A tip I have too is if you want to keep your length so it's not so short, like this is a lot shorter than my actual hair. Um, just curl the ends then, but because I want kind of more volume, I'm curl all the way to the top. Sometimes I'll just curl the ends because really this bottom layer doesn't really matter. It's really the top layer that matters. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go halfway and then roll it up and then hold it for about five, seconds and then I'm going to release it to the end and then roll up more. So I'm going to finish off my whole bottom section with this and then I'll be right back. Okay so I finished the last section here and it is super like tight and ugly and it's not combed through. Flip it to the back and now we're going to move on to the next section. Okay, so how I'm going to part my hair for this next section is I like to take it right above my eyebrows like the, it, the arch of my eyebrows and then go all the way back. This will allow us to work on the next section. And now we're just going to be doing the exact same thing. Okay, so I finished curling this section and it looks really, really curly and piecey and gross. I hate when girls do not comb through their hair when they get curls. So. I'm going to be doing this last section, so just throw this to the back. And then this section is a little bit more particular. Um, you don't want to just curl it normally because this is the actual section that everyone is going to see. So I'm going to part my hair. I like to part my hair on the left side. You can part, whatever, you can part your hair wherever you want. Let's take this section right here. And then I'm going to clamp it in the middle. And then we're going to hold it up at the root for a little bit longer just so we can make sure that it is going to be very voluminous. So just hold it there for a little bit and then we're going to release it and do the exact same thing. Okay, so I'm just going to release it. Now to ensure that it does have a lot of volume, I'm just going to bring it over on this side and just let it cool for a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take it back over here once it has finished cooling. And you can already see that there is a lot more volume after I did that. Okay, so how I like to curl this section is I like to curl it in chunks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it through this way. So horizontally make chunks. So I'm just going to take a section right here and then do the exact same thing. Again, hold it very, very close to the root in order to make sure that you have volume. Okay, 
I released it and I'm gonna put it over here now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work on the next section. You can do the exact same technique, just put it all the way up to the root. So now this last section right here, we're just going, we're not going to let it sit for a while and not go all the way up to the root because I feel like it just does a little bit too much. I'm just going to go halfway right here and then just curl a little bit, not to the root, obviously you can see here. And then we're just going to release it to the end and then curl it up again to right about here. And then I'm going to release it. And then I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to let the rest of this hair that I just curled to cool off a little bit. Okay, so once everything is cool, I'm going to bring it back to its original place. And you'll see it is very, very piecey and curly. What I'm going to do, this section is, this part is very crucial, is that we're going to flip our hair upside down and just shake it all up and run your fingers through like the root. <laughs> I don't like using a comb or a brush because I feel like it makes it too frizzy. So I like to do it like this. So just keep messing with it. And I liked my hair to be a lot, a lot looser and voluminous. So this will be the end result of my hair. This is how I curl my hair. Every single time I curl it, I usually do this technique or some other techniques I can show you guys as well. I'm gonna tell you guys a few of my tips to keep my hair very voluminous because everyone always asks, asks me how I do it. So here are my tips. Well, my first tip is when you are going out somewhere and you're like driving or if you still have like a little bit of stuff to do at home before you leave, I like to put my hair up in a bun because once it's up in a bun, your hair is gonna be lifted and then once you release it, it's just gonna still be have all that volume. Simple, messy bun. How I would do that is just pull it up. Make sure you just kind of keep it messy. So when you keep it in a bun, it's just going to make sure that your hair is lifted. And then once you release it, it's gonna have that volume that you want. If I'm trying to go for my second day without washing my hair, usually at night I'll put it up in a bun. So then once you release it, it's still very curly and very messy and very voluminous. One of the major things that I do is spray dry shampoo or a texturizing spray. Anything that will really kind of dry out your roots. And I just like to spray it along my roots. And then that's going to give you a lot, a lot of volume. So I like to have my hair a little bit looser than what it is right now. So I'll do this before my makeup or getting dressed or kind of like getting ready for anything. So then once you finish, it's going to be a lot looser. Another thing I do throughout the day is that I don't keep my part on one side. Um, I play with my hair a lot. So sometimes I'll bring it over here. And then sometimes like once it has set there for a while, I'll bring it over here. Um, just kind of like making sure that you your hair doesn't fall flat because I know sometimes when I don't touch it for a really long time it gets like super flat up here and it just is so unflattering so I just like to constantly play with my hair and then make sure it's still voluminous and big okay well that is all for my video I hope you guys enjoyed watching me curl my hair but yep, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And thank you for all the support that I've gotten so far from this YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!